Hi John, there's been a problem with your login info. Please follow this link and enter your last known password to resolve this issue. Ever seen an email like this from a name that sounds familiar but you can't quite place? Or even from someone you know? Here's hoping you didn't click the link. Hackers send these emails as part of something called a spear phishing scheme. Spear phishing is a step up from your generic phishing or email fraud. In a spear phishing scheme, hackers target you, pretending to be individuals or businesses you know, and trick you into clicking on links that download malware on your computer so that the hackers can obtain sensitive information like your login and password. They might ask for your login credentials, credit card information, or other personal details. Remember when WikiLeaks published Clinton campaign emails leading up to the 2016 election? Campaign chair John Podesta had been spearfished. He clicked on a link to a spoofed Google web page that said someone had used his password and urged him to change it. He complied and gave Russian hackers access to his email account. U.S. intelligence officials claim it was part of a broader Russian government plot to influence the 2016 presidential election. One of the Russian groups that targeted the DNC was also behind an attack on athletes at the Rio Olympics. Through spear phishing, the group obtained and published confidential information about U.S. athletes like gymnast Simone Biles. There was also Celebgate. A hacker used spear phishing to steal nude photos of celebrities like Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton. Verizon says organizations in the public sector were victims of more than 47,000 security incidents in 2015. The entertainment industry saw almost 3,000 incidents. One of the hardest parts about combating spear phishing is accounting for human error. We tend to trust senders that look and sound like someone we know. And while email services filter out some spear phishing attempts, no system catches them all. Thank you.